So I've been thinking how to design my legs. Well, I've got the legs, but how to do the cross members and stuff. And I came to the conclusion, no more messing about here. Had to have a new saw, didn't I? Of course I did. Yes, I did, Brian. Yes, yes, you did, Brian. Yes, I did, Brian. I convinced myself I needed a new saw. <laughs> Actually, I didn't take all that much convincing and thankfully neither did Rosie job got to get done but I went I went to Bunnings this morning to get this saw I knew what I wanted I was in got the saw went to the coffee coffee counter and sat there for 10 minutes <sighs> anyhow let's get this set up Uh oh. Water. Here comes Rosie. More squeezing stuff. She's gonna see me reading an instruction book. Huh? Thank goodness. Oh, it blew the fuse. Why did a brand new machine blow a fuse? And if the brand new machine blows a fuse, maybe the old machine blowing fuses isn't the problem at all. It's to do with the wiring. Well, isn't that interesting? I'll plug this into a different power point that I know works properly. Reset the fuse. It's not actually a fuse, it's a safety trip switch. And it's in my garage. So my garage is separate from the house, which is really handy. Oh, that'll be fun to explain to Rosie. I bought a brand new saw because the saw that I had kept tripping the fuse. But Turns out that's a problem with the wiring over there, not the machine itself. Oops. I thought the whole point of this was to go through, but it won't. So I'm going to turn it over. But because I've got a stop block, it should be exactly the same. Looking good.
confuse again. I can't see where it tells me how much power it draws. But because it doesn't specify, you would assume it should work on a normal 10 amp system. Is that a fair assumption, do you think? But failing that, I do have a 15 amp plug over there, so I might try that. But it really shouldn't be popping fuses, should it? So I'm in the 15 amp outlet now. Let's see if that makes a difference. Dust collection is a priority one day. You better watch this. I've got to a potential disaster point.
that seems to have gone okay. I need to do that on that end and the other two two ends of the other stick. Then I need that's a dovetail by the way. Then I'm going to do a dovetail into the shoulder of that. And that could be that could be tricky. But that went well. That's pretty good, nice and tight, not square, but yeah, room, enough room to move there. There you go. Do the same on all other three corners now. But you don't have to watch. No, you don't have to watch. Besides, I think my family is about to show up. So, uh, I'll have to take a break anyway. Assembly. Inside short. Minus five, minus five. Minus ten, minus ten. Side long. Ah, now I don't know. No, that can't be right. I didn't mark the ends on this one, but since they're custom made, this shouldn't be too far hard to figure out. Good. Yeah, perfect. Now the next piece I want to make is a bar from there to there. Keep everything square and rigid to stop this but also as a foot rest because it's a high table so you want somewhere to rest your feet and I was thinking keeping in line with the top I might use that skin as a natural round to put in there
perfect. That's lovely. Perfect. Perfect. I think that looks really good. Maybe it's a bit high actually. I'll fix it after New Year's if it's required. But actually, as a footrest, that's lovely. I like it. Mark up these holes. See this bit, it's got bearings on top of the cutting head, which means as long as I get this first cut right, those bearings will follow that line that I've made and I can go as deep as I want, well as deep as this will let me, and just follow those lines without worrying about going offline. Hitting him? Yeah, good. Inside the All will be revealed. Yeah. Right. Can I help push him in or would you prefer to me? Do you want 
Hang on, hang on. Kuba, Sit. Sit, okay. stay. Nice and slow, no rush. I'm in a rush to get rid of it. <laughs> I can help. You're just getting the way, Rosie. Thank you. Cooper. Jared, that towel. Yeah, we're walking backwards. No, you see him help with the towel. Yep. Around the other side of it, I'd say. Hang on. Going backwards. Yeah. Is the door open? Come on, Granddad. Come on, Dad. You can do it. Woo! Good job. High fives all around. Hello. I think we've settled on this as its final resting place, at least for now. I've added a couple of extra metal brackets underneath to hold the top down, and that gives it a bit more rigidity as well. Um, it's got plenty to finish on it. It's got plenty that's wrong with it. But for now it'll serve us well for New Year's Eve. And I can fix it up and finish it off properly after the holidays. Hi. Hello birthday girl. I'm the, I'm the birthday yeah. girl. And we're helping take you off after this. <laughs> Hi, Grandad. Hi, Grandad. <laughs> happy New Year. And say happy birthday to me. And happy birthday, Zoe. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Joey. 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 Thank you. 